Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate a blob and also how you can make use of the generated blob on your Elementor to build wonderful websites, wonderful designs on your project. Okay. So mind you, there are a series of tools online that are available for free for you to generate blobs. However, some of those tools require prior knowledge in order for you to be able to use it to have the required blob shape you want. So, but this tool here is for free and it has a lot of um, features that you can use to design wonderful blob in less than a minute. Okay, so let's get started. Now, you can see here under the type, there's a regular type, which is what we have here. And then when you click on this spinner here, you can have see the various shapes you can come up with. If you're not okay with either of the shape, you can also adjust the edges here. And then you come over here, you spin it also, and it still give you different shapes. And if you adjust the smoothness as well, this setup here, you can spin it, spin it, and have the various shapes you want for this particular setup. Now, there is also the gradient option here where you can select your gradient type, either the linear gradient or the radial gradient, as you can see. And then you can come over here and select the various colors you want for your gradient. And then this here. Okay. So, uh, you can select it as linear and you have something that looks like that. And then set the angle here. Okay. And then there is also the stack. This is the stack. Now you can come over here, spin it, spin it. And then if you do not like what you see, you can come here, reduce the edges, reduce it. And then you come out, spin and spin until you get the desired stack blob shape you want. Okay. And then you can come over here and change the color to suit whatever color you want that will actually match the design on your website. Okay. And then there's also the option to create an outline like this. And then you can come here choose the color of your outline you know whatever you want and then but we'll be using that okay and then there is a dual blob type which is what we'll have here when you spin this you come up with different shapes and so on and so forth as you can see and then there is also the pattern where you can select the various patterns either dot cross circle and square and generate what you want okay so for the purpose of this tutorial we'll be making use of the regular i won't go in depth up uh, so how much you can create different kinds of uh, blob okay so now take for instance we we here we're just gonna you know shape this until we get the desired shape okay take for instance we want to make use of this particular blob shape on our website so what we're going to do is we're going to export this okay to export it we're going to click on this button here now you can see there are various options as to which you can export it either as an svg a png or a jpeg or you can even copy the svg code Okay, and then there's also the option to scale up the size of whatever blob you've designed. Now, I recommend you to, you export it as SVG because SVG files are usually very small and have no effect on the speed of your website when uploaded to your website. Okay, so you can also make use of the PNG file too, but I, I prefer we'll go for the SVG file. So, then not to download the SVG file, we're just going to click on it here. And then it's going to download if you click on the png it downloads as a png as well and the jpeg it does the same okay so now that we've downloaded our svg file the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make use of it on our website now before we do that we need to go to our wordpress dashboard and then head over to elementor and then we'll go to the settings okay now in the settings we now head to the advanced settings here now we'll come down to where it is written enable on filtered file upload now you're going to enable this the reason for that is if you do not enable this you won't be able to upload your svg file because when you enable it it allows you to upload any file such as svg and json files as well okay so once you've done that you're just going to come over here and you're going to click on save okay so now the next thing we're going to do we'll go to the uh elementary editing screen and then i'm going to show you the various ways which you can make use of the blob we've already designed okay so now here is uh, a pre-designed layout that I've already done in order to avoid making this video very lengthy. Okay, so one of the methods you can use this blob of created is as a background. So to use it as a background, we're just going to come over to this container here. And then we're going to go to the style option here. And then we're going to upload it as a background image. Okay, so we're just going to click here. And then... I'm just going to come over here uh, as you can see the various blob shapes that I've already did, downloaded and made use of on the website. I'm going to show you at the, towards the end of this tutorial the various styles and designs that I was able to come up with and yours can be much more. Okay, so I'm just going to drag and drop this here. 
All right, this is the shape we've created. So I'm just going to click and then select it. Okay. Now this is what we we'll have here. Now I'm just going to come over here. And then for the position, we, we can set the position to either center, center, or well, however we want to set it, either center, right. And then we're going to come over to the repeat. We're going to set it to no repeat. And then we're going to come over to the display size. We're going to set the display size to however what we want. We either set it as a con, leave it as default or we'll set it as covered. And it becomes very wide. I'm going to have something that looks like this. This doesn't look nice. Okay. And then we can either set it as contain and it now looks like this, which looks a little bit nice. You know, it looks wonderful for our app here. So, and then we can also do something else. We can also come over here for the position. We're going to come over and make use of a custom position. Okay. And then for that custom position, for the X position, we can just drag it this way towards the end. And then for the Y, we drag it to the top like that. And then once we've done that, done, let me show you what we've done. You see, okay, we haven't gotten it to the edge. So now let's continue, let's drag it to the edge. Okay, and then for the position, let's just leave it that way. Okay. Okay, now that we've done that, now the next thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna come over here. Instead of the display size to be content, we're gonna set it to cover. Okay, so now we'll set it as cover, we can see what we'll have, you can see this. Now we'll come over here for, the Y position, we can shift it this way and then reduce this as well. So we'll now have something like this. You can just play with it and then have a wonderful shape on your website. And if you're not okay with this cover shape, you can also use the custom size here and then you can reduce the size to something that will just fit in like this, as you can see. Anyhow, you can just play around with it and then you have a very wonderful design at the end of it, okay? So now this is the first method. Now the second method of using this particular uh, blob we've created is as a mask. Okay. So now to use it as a mask, we're just going to come over here. Let's just delete this so we don't have it anymore. Okay. So we're going to come over here. For this image here, we're just going to change the image. Let's select another image that will show our marketing pretty much well. Okay. So we'll select this image here. Okay. And then we'll come over here to this container and let's adjust the justify content to the center. So we we'll now have this is what we have here. All right. Now, under the same image, we're going to come over to this image and go to the advanced settings of the image. And we'll come down here to where there is mask and we're going to toggle this on. Now, you see, by default, Elemental gives us different max options that we can use. They also have a blob option, which is something that looks like this. As you can see, that looks like this. All right. Now, they also have the custom option where you can upload your custom blob size blob shape okay which is the shape we've already uploaded we're going to select it select this shape and then we're going to make use of it okay then there is an option here where you can set the size of the blob which could be feet or fill okay and then you can set it to center center top center uh bottom center like that whatever you want however you want it to be center center like so and then you just come over here and you have something that looks like this okay and then you can also come over here set the custom size you can set your size like this. so as you can see you can make use of this to design so many designs can be unlimited and i'm going to show you some of the designs i was able to come up after generating various blob shapes and then use it on this particular tutorial website so now let's Take a stroll down and see the various designs we can apply for our with our blob shape. Okay, so you can see this. We can make use of this, and then you can see this is a blob, and you can tell the blob uh, type that I created is the stack blob type that I used in this one here. You can come over here. This is the dual blob that I used in designing this. You can see you can also use it uh, to design a, uh, a card. Like, as you can see, these are the various blobs that I was able to create and then use it to mask an image and design this particular card here. You can see this is also a blob. So the design option is unlimited so long as you know what you're looking for, the shape you're looking for and how you want to apply it on your website. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new from this tutorial. If so, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel. And Drop your comment wherever you're confused and I'll do well to 
uh, attend to it. And if you have other options as to uh, blobs or creation and all that, that are better than this, you can still share it on the link for others to see as well. So until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.